Leo, you need to know this right now for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Leo for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Leo, these are your cards, honey. So, Leo, you have uh -uh, the three of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, Anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing you heartbreak. So, Leo, you're telling me that you're hurt. And you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Leo. Clarify the three of swords for Leo. Clarify the three of swords for Leo. It is clarified with the four swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you taking a break, resting, recovering, meditating, praying, recharging your crystals. So Leo, you're telling me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover or you're meditating on something here. So Leo, because they hurt you, you can tell me that you guys are on a break. You can tell me that you're trying to recover from this hurt. Leo, you have the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Leo, you're telling me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For Leo, clarify the world. For Leo, clarify the world. For Leo, it is clarified with the Nine of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to you feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you're getting your wish could be feeling smug or overindulging, trying to numb out. Now, you can tell me that, you know what, you're closing out a cycle and you're just overindulging, trying to numb out, trying to get this pain off of your brain. You can tell me that, I don't know, it's your wish to just close out this cycle with this person because they hurt you. You could be feeling smug that you're closing out this cycle because they hurt you. Leo, you have the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is moving away to calmer waters, moving away to a place of peace. So either mentally or physically, you're wanting to move away. Now, this can speak to if you guys had any type of disagreements or arguments between you, agreeing to disagree, letting bygones be bygones, and moving away to a place of peace and harmony together. Or this is you saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. So, Leo, you can tell me that you're physically moving or traveling. You can tell me, hey, let's just put it behind us and move away to a place of peace and harmony together, letting bygones be bygones. Or you're saying you just want to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. Clarify the Six of Swords. 
for Leo. Clarify the Six of Swords. For Leo. Clarify the Six of Swords. For Leo. It is clarified with the Queen of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This queen is a very loving, kind, compassionate queen. This is a nurturing queen. This is the mothering energy. She's very intuitive and psychic, and she searches her emotions. Could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, or someone with water prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Cups, using your intuition concerning something, or searching your emotions concerning something. Also with Queen of Cups, this is a mothering, nurturing energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child here. Clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo, clarify the Queen of Cups. <clears throat> For Leo, clarify the Queen of Cups. For Leo, it is clarified with the moon. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but the moon symbolizes secrets or things that are not yet known. It can symbolize moodiness, depression, vivid dreams, deep emotions, intuition, but secrets. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but you can tell me that you're in the dark concerning something. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or there's a secret. Clarify the moon for Leo. Clarify the moon for Leo. Clarify the moon for Leo. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Leo, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now, Leo, listen, you can tell me that you guys had some type of heated discussion or argument, your feelings were hurt, and you're using your intuition that maybe you need to just move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. You can tell me that you're searching your emotions and using your intuition because a secret came out about them starting a passionate new beginning somewhere. And you're just wanting to move out, move on, and move away from the relationship. But Leo, I want to know if you're using your intuition and searching your emotions concerning you guys just putting it behind you and start starting a passionate new beginning. That it'll be your wish if you guys come back around again to one another. Are you hurt because they broke up with you? And you're hoping that you guys get back together? Huh. Leo, you have the Page of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is news or a message about a deep emotional connection. These are love messages or news of love. But this could also be the news about what love produce because there's a fish in this cup. So love messages and an apology. Now you could be receiving love messages and an apology. You could be sending out love messages and an apology. Very well could be that we found love messages and heard the news of someone sharing love or some news about what love produced because pages are children and there's a fish in this cup. Clarify the page of cups. For Leo, clarify the page of cups. For Leo, clarify the page of cups. For Leo, it is clarified with the Six of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is getting attention, getting recognition, rising above the crowd, getting the accolades, the pats on the back, being triumphant, getting the victory, victory and success. But this can also speak to something being brought to your attention or you're beginning to recognize something or you're getting attention and recognition. So Leo, they could be getting your attention. You could be getting their attention. You can tell me that something is being brought to your attention. You're beginning to recognize something here, or this is an announcement being made. Now, Leo, you can tell me that something was brought to your attention. You began to recognize something here because you found love messages and heard the news of them sharing love. You know, this is the secret that's coming out here that they started a passionate beginning with a third party. However, Leo, you can tell me that someone's getting the other's attention and apologizing here, wanting to come back around again. 
Leo, you have the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the queen of pentacles, the queen of pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Leo, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Leo, clarify the Queen of Pentacles. For Leo, it is clarified with the Hierophants. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone a wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. Could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant. For Leo, clarify the Hierophant. For Leo, clarify the Hierophant. For Leo, it is clarified with you, Leo, strength. The universe is calling for you to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of you trying to tame your lust, tame your passions, trying to restrain yourself, restrict yourself and hold yourself back from something. So Leo, this is you. Hmm. Clarify strength. For Leo, clarify strength. For Leo, what about Leo? What about Leo? Clarify strength. For Leo, it is clarified with the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Leo, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Now, Leo, I want to know if you're deciding to work things out with this person. Because you guys are already in a commitment. Or this getting someone's attention may be some type of an announcement. Some type of romantic announcement here. And someone's speaking on commitment because what about Leo? You're willing to work it out. Now, Leo, you could be willing to work it out because, yes, they're speaking on commitment. Or you're willing to work it out or you're wanting to work it out because you caused this. Right? I'm going to take a look at the twin flames exposed for you and your partner, Leo. Mm -mm -mm. If you're interested. In a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. And it says, I didn't think you would break me down. I misjudge you. This was a hard lesson, but I'm not giving up on us. I didn't think you would break me down. I misjudge you. This was a hard lesson, but I'm not giving up on us. <clears throat> okay. I'm going to also take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you and your partner, Leo. And it says, you are the best thing in my life. You are the best thing in my life and I'm not giving up on us. Leo, you need to know this right now for May the 23rd through May the 24th, 2024. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe. Like comment and share and follow me on tiktok twitter and instagram and i'll see you guys next week peace